Hi friends, do you make friends based on their appearance? No, do you? Friends are close to your heart. Similarly, marriage should also be between people who can relate to each other. Today, we will see an extract from a play, Pride and Prejudice, which will make us think. Let us see how. Mrs. Bennet and her daughters are sitting in the parlour when a letter arrives. Mrs. Bennet asks Jane to read it quickly. Jane reads out an invitation from Carolyn Bingley. It requests Jane to dine with them. Jane requests her mother for the carriage to go in, but Mrs. Bennet has other plans. She says that it looks like it might rain, so she should go on horseback. That way she would get to stay the night. Elizabeth wonders if they would let her stay the night. Jane insists on using the carriage, but her mother sends her away on horseback. As expected, it starts to rain. Jane could not return. The sisters are worried for Jane, but... Mother is happy that her plan has worked. Next morning, a letter from Jane arrives. It states that Jane has caught a cold due to getting wet the previous day. She would not be returning and the doctor might be required to visit her. Elizabeth gets worried. She wants to go to Jane, but the carriage is not at home. She does not know how to ride a horse. So, she decides to walk. Mother is annoyed with her as she feels she would get dirty by the time she reaches there. But Elizabeth is determined to go. Father says he can arrange for a carriage. But Elizabeth says she can manage the three miles. She would be home by dinner. Elizabeth reaches the house all dirty and soggy. She walks in as the others are having breakfast. They look shocked at her appearance, but wish her well. She is then taken to her sister's room. Mr. Jones, the doctor arrives and informs them that Jane has a bad cold. She should stay in bed. She has high fever and has developed a headache as well. Elizabeth waited on her till three in the afternoon. Then she prepared to return home. But Jane would not let her leave. Miss Bingley had to invite her to stay. At dinner, Elizabeth found Mr. Bingley's sisters rude and ill-mannered. They looked down at her because she was not as rich as they were. After dinner, she leaves to go to her sister. The sisters make fun of her and her appearance in the morning. Their brother says he appreciates the fact that Elizabeth came to attend to her sister. His assistant also joined the conversation to say that Charles would surely not like his sisters to walk around like this. Charles insists that she did all this for her sister. His sister wishes that Elizabeth gets a good husband, but with such a poor family, she might not get one. Charles says that is no reason for not getting a good husband. In the evening, Elizabeth joins the rest of them in the parlour. They invite Elizabeth to play cards. She declines and prefers to read. Charles helps her with the books. The sisters say Elizabeth likes to read and do nothing else. Charles says she takes good care of her sister as well. They continue with their game as Elizabeth reads. After a while, Elizabeth gets up to look at their game. Miss Bingley asks Darcy about Miss Darcy. Darcy tells her that she would be as tall as Elizabeth. Charles says all ladies are accomplished these days. Miss Bingley describes the attributes of Miss Darcy. Elizabeth says that finding all these attributes in one girl would be difficult. She is still to meet such a girl. 
Miss Bingley looks at her in disappointment and shock. Elizabeth gets up to leave. So, my friends, this excerpt leads us to think that why this prejudice towards girls? Why can't they treat each girl as equal? Think about it.